Tuesday, McVay, and happy Tuesday. Good morning, boys and girls. All right, let's get to our Get Smart projects. So this one is a math book. So we heard from Jada Pope, uh, I think that was last week, as a matter of fact. Maybe it was last Tuesday. Uh, <clears throat> but this is a math book by Naomi Larson. Uh, so we have subtraction, addition, multiplication, and division. And when you open the book, uh, so these are index cards that she made into a book. She made binding with tape. And so we have the addition section. So you can tell by the addition uh, symbol, the plus sign we call it. And then you'll see multiple addition problems. Then there's a subtraction section. If you keep going, multiplication section. Excellent, excellent work. Division. Brilliant. Awesome job. And the math is all correct. A great way to get smart and to use materials that you have at home. Now, the other project we have for today to share is a project on bunnies. We have little sections where you can peel them back and find out uh, little fun facts. It's well illustrated. Um, and who is this by? This is by Amy in room 222. So for example, uh, rabbits or bunnies live generally about 12 years. Um, they have exceptional hearing. And, you know, again, that is one of the senses that uh, we can tell is um, extremely important to a rabbit because they have very, very big or long ears, depending on how you uh, look at it, but that's because their hearing is so strong. Uh, <clears throat> so what else? Baby bunnies are called kittens. So what I'm doing is I'm going over and lifting up the post-it to get a new fun fact. Now, well done, Amy. Now get into our Wordle. So many people got this. All of room 215, 217, I have Gazi, uh, Camilla, Saul, James, Gabriel, Michael, Nicole. It might be all of room 217, it looks like. Rashad, who else do we have here? Hmm. Yeah, it looks like the whole uh, class. And then I have all of these people that got the Wordle and mystery number. All right, so I gave two clues. All right, so we have, okay. And so the most common vowel, the second most common vowel, all right, so here we are, these two words, and in the same letter, it's the most common consonant. And then these two letters are consonants, as is this letter, and they are one of the most common consonants. Now, the mystery number, like I said, so many people got this as well. Uh, Braden, Ashley, Yarrick, looks like a lot of people from 103. The Turnlands, <clears throat> yep. Uh, Ariz, let's see. I know class 215 got this. Julia, uh, Gianna, Angela, Lucas, Mellon, Isabella, yep. Many of you got this already. So, we know that these two numbers are odd, these two are even. The even numbers are uh, homonyms, and we've been working on dates. So what are the chances that this is an eight? Because we're working on dates right now. It could be an eight because that would be the eighth month. But are we in the eighth month? Hmm. So many of you have gotten this. I'm going to give you a big clue. Now we have to pick out these two dates. All right. <clears throat> Listen carefully. They're both odd. 
They both have four letters. The vowels are the same in both of these numbers. The last vowel is silent and it's the most common vowel. Okay, oh, and this one is smaller than this one. This one is greater. Now I have to give you lots of clues today because it's a short week. All right, now it's time for our Mighty Con Moment of the Day. Let's get a drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. So the Mighty Con Moment of the Day is something that, again, going back to Naomi, she uh, made this. It says, step up so others won't get stepped on. And what that really means is to be an upstander. Now, if there's a situation that you're uh, near or heard about or something, there are three things you can do. If you're near it and or involved in it, uh, you can participate. Not a good plan. You can not participate, but do nothing about it. That's called being a bystander. You're there, you know about it, but you don't do anything about it. Being an upstander is somebody that sees something that isn't right and does their part to make sure that it becomes better or that it doesn't get worse. So if somebody was being mean to somebody else, an upstander would say, don't do that, it's mean. A bystander would just watch it happen. So what she's saying is you have to step up, you have to be an upstander. That's one of our responsibilities. And certainly as a mighty mind and certainly as a mighty kind mighty mind so think about that the next time you see something maybe out on the playground or it's not in school where maybe somebody you think oh, <clears throat> is being treated unfairly or not nicely be an upstander why because you're a mighty mind not only that a mighty kind mighty mind and everyday boys and girls great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth let's have a wonderful day